This is the first part of a series on the life and works of the Austrian scientist Erwin Schrödinger. I apologise in advance to those who speak German amongst the audience for my dire pronunciation. Erwin Schrödinger was an Austrian physicist born in the late 19th century who was one of the fathers of quantum mechanics, a branch of physics that deals with particle wave duality as well as interactions between energy and matter. He is most famous, of course, for the Schrödinger's cat paradox, which is a fairly simple, everyday representation of a superposition of states, but this first part will be focused on his early life and education. Erwin Rudolf Josef Alexander Schrödinger was born in Vienna in August 1887, the son of Rudolf and Georgine Schrödinger. Rudolf was of Bavarian descent, owned an oilcloth factory, and had a keen interest in botany, publishing papers on plant phylogeny but had a broad education studying chemistry and devoted himself for some years to Italian painting before turning to studying plants. Georgine Schrödinger was the daughter of Alexander Bayer, who was Rudolf's professor of chemistry at the Technical College of Vienna, and herself was half English, her mother having been from Leamington Spa in Warwickshire. Erwin Schrödinger received private tuition rather than attending elementary school, and learned English and German simultaneously, given that they were both spoken in the Schrödinger household. At the age of 11, he enrolled at the Imperial Royal Academic High School, a gymnasium in Vienna, in the autumn of 1898. On top of enjoying physics and maths, which he was gifted in the understanding of, he also described himself later on as enjoying the strict logic of the ancient grammars. In 1906, he completed his education at the gymnasium and enrolled at the University of Vienna, studying physics. He was strongly influenced by the theoretical physics lectures given by Friedrich Hassenerl, who was the successor of Ludwig Boltzmann as the head of the Department of Theoretical Physics. Schrödinger was awarded a Doctor of Philosophy in May of 1910, as this was the first physics degree attainable in Austrian universities. This isn't equivalent to a PhD in physics, but it is about academically equivalent to a master's degree in an American university or an honours degree in the UK. This first paper he produced displayed adept experimental ability, but oddly for what he would go on to achieve, very little theoretical work. After this he volunteered to enter the required military service for the Austro-Hungarian Empire, of which Austria was a part and would remain a part until soon after the First World War when the empire broke up. This universal military service was three years for able-bodied young men, but those of a high enough educational standing could volunteer for a year at their own expense. This year would be for training, and after passing an examination, they would be commissioned as reserve officers. Once he had completed the required year, he returned into academia, working as a research assistant to Professor Franz Exner in experimental physics. This experimental experience, he felt, was an invaluable asset to his later theoretical work. In September 1914, he completed his work for his habilitation, a postdoctoral qualification, and was awarded the degree. By this time, the First World War had been in a swing for nearly two months, but it wasn't until Italy declared war on the Austro-Hungarian Empire in May of 1915 that Schrödinger became involved in the war effort and was stationed on the North Italian border. This front remained relatively static, fortunately, for Schroeder's research efforts, which continued even while he was stationed at the front. In the next part, we'll be looking at his shifting around and pre-Schrodinger equation academic career. Thanks for watching.